What's up, y'all? I see some heads in here. Use the sweet onion. Oh, Ada and Vic. Wow. Mods in the house. <laughs> oh, and, and you both of you guys have not been on a, a live of mine in some time. How are you, how are you guys? I don't think that's ever happened. Uh, you know, and, and you can't see it, unfortunately. I just, just, I literally just made chicken burgers. Nothing special about them. A little sandwich bread, mustard, uh, ketchup, cheese. One of these buns is a low carb bun, and the other one is a regular bun. And I got a BLT salad from um, uh, Walmart. So, but I know you can't see it and I apologize, but you'll be able to hear it. As you guys are coming in, do me a big old solid and hit that, suck that thumb. You all know what to do now. Yeah, I know, Ada. It's, it's, it's great to see you. I'm glad that you were able to make it to this one. I was afraid that, you know how I never like to really notify people. That's because I don't really, it's don't be planned. And I just thought in my other video, I was suggesting that some of the people I rock with go live. I just said, why don't I go live? Oh, Dan, okay. Good, I'm glad you got notified. Good to see you, Mr. S. What's up, Chris Morgan? Y'all step out, dip out, and hit that thumbs up button for me, please, and thank you. Oh, Ada, I just, I hope that you get everything that you ordered the way you ordered it. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> thank you, Vic. Thank you. Appreciate it. A wo o d okay. What's up, uh, A wo? I don't know what how to say your name. What's up, Larry? Um, I can't do the lemon pepper. I can never do that lemon pepper. It just is for some reason it's too darn salty for me. But I um um, I think a, a wing stop is in the future for me. You know what you what are you gonna order or where are you gonna order from, Ada? And um, Vic, what you have for dinner? Cause your ass be throwing down. Damn, y'all really not gonna hit the thumbs up button for me? Y'all some suckers. Thank you, I see one person did it. Just dip out and then come back in. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. I also got some Arizona green tea. With ginseng and honey. 
not a flavor I usually get, but let me, I am dying to taste this low carb bun. It, oh, there's a lot on this. It's gonna get sloppy. Mm -mm. I gotta lick it. <laughs> mm. I don't taste too bad. All right, bud. I'm enjoying that. Toby, what's up? How are you? I haven't seen you in a minute either. Yeah, the garlic parm is my fave, which you all know that. Hi, Johnny. Wawa. What the hell is Wawa? Ah. Just getting some chicken noodle soup, a breakfast burrito, and a hoagie. Nice. Hey, Tara. How's it going? Soy ginger grill stuff. See, I told you. I knew he had something good. Uh, soy ginger grilled salmon, rice, and asparagus. Not too crazy. It's okay. It sounds good, though. Andrew, what's going on? How are you? <clears throat> Hoagie is... Oh, I got stuff on my screen. Damn. Hoagie is another name for subs. I know what a hoagie is, child. <laughs> Work is work. I'm doing okay. What's up, uh, Billabong Matt? How are you? You know, this is something I don't ever do. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it now. I'm turning the food down. If you, what's my Instagram? What's my IG? <clears throat> eat bitch eat official with a one substitute in the I in bitch official page. Um, if you want to um, follow me. Otherwise, I gotta tell you, I'm really boring. All I post is food pics. <laughs> food pics for, you know, my mukbangs. And th that's pretty much it. You don't get anything else from me. Um, so if you want to follow, fine. If you don't, that's fine too. But I'm just, you know, putting it out there in case you do. And I also have a Facebook page for the channel it's just another way to, you know, connect. So. Mm. Man, I'm telling you, that Velveeta cheese is a killer. It is so good. Mm. Okay, what y'all saying? Oh yeah, I know what a hokey is. Yeah, you know, Andrew, I, I got um, the BLT salads when I'm eating now, and I also love the apple walnut salad from Walmart. So I'll eat that another day. It's a spot out here called Chicken Chicken Out, it's a knockoff of Chick-fil-A. Is it called Chicken Out? Um, 
Oh, chicken out. I get it. <laughs> they they need to literally throw the chicken out. <laughs> Sauce is good though. I bet. Mm, man, I need to see some pieces of that chicken from chicken out. If you guys are coming in and I see that you guys are coming in, can y'all please dip out and hit that thumbs up button for me, please? I appreciate you coming. Um, what's up, Montoria? How are you? Hey, uh, Rochelle, I'm good. How are you doing? Yeah, you know what? I have a weird sort of uh, relationship with chicken Caesar salad. Um, I remember when I first discovered them, when I first, you know, had it, um, it was like in the 90s and I was completely obsessed. And I was like, I, every time I went out, I, had, I ordered the chicken Caesar salad. I loved Caesar dressing. But now I don't really get into it that much. There's one, um, this, well, Jewel Osco, um, they have a, a, uh, a, a Caesar salad that I get because it's not a real busy salad. Like Cobb salads can be really like, it's too much going on in a Cobb salad for me. But I had a good one um, not too long ago. It was good to have again, but I, I was trying to keep it cute, you know? Thank you, Joey. I appreciate it, y'all. What was y'all up to today? I um, I had to run a few errands and take care of some stuff before tomorrow. This burger is seasoned so good. For you all, I'm having a chicken burger. You can't see it though, and I apologize for that. It's got Velveeta cheese, sandwich spread, ketchup, and mustard. Mm. Mm, I have chips too. It is seasoned to absolute perfection. I must tell you. Wow. Yeah, I wish. I just like um, the salads I get into now really are like the apple walnut salads or that, that good old salad from um, Wendy's. that uh, apple, isn't it? Don't they have a walnut salad or a pecan? It's so good. They say your taste buds get used to something if you eat it often and it gets bland. Yeah, that would have been the case with me. I just, I think I overdid it. And then, you know, you discover different flavors and you discover that you can, you know, a salad is good with, you know, some raisins or, something in them. I know some people are not crazy about raisins, but I don't mind dried cranberries or raisins in a salad at all. Speaking of raisins, I must tell you guys something. <clears throat> Let me just read the rest of these uh, wonderful comments. 19 people, thank y'all for popping in. If you are, um, can y'all dip out some of y'all and then hit that thumbs up button for me? Caress it, please, and thank you. Um, uh, it's made up of turn me on. I know, I know, I know. I don't want to even think about that, um, Vic. <laughs> Y'all don't know. Vic, Vic and I, Vic is obviously one of my mods, and Vic and I, uh, uh, our Facebook, you know, buds, and Vic, when he get to cooking, oh my God, he'd be posting pictures of, he would, he would be, I don't know if he'd be the perfect mukbanger, but the visuals 
Oh my God. Y'all would see his thumbnails and be, would be really wanting to try his food. You would jump through the screen. He, he makes some good stuff. One of these days he'll do a video. I've been chilling in voice calls with friends, with my friends all day, to be honest. Well, hey. You know, at least just with your friends. That's a good thing, right? Grocery shopping for myself, my mom and my mother-in-law. Okay. And also has anchovy. Yes, it does. It does. It's very early for me though now. Well, where are you where are you located, Joey Devil? I gotta find out where some of you all are located. And Tara S, where are you located? And Montoria, I know you've been in a live before, if you're still here, but I'm trying to figure out where you guys are located. Not that I'm going to remember next time, but I feel it's only courteous to ask. Working at Watchman Project Runway. Okay. Yeah, I never got into that. I never even watched it, but I know a lot of people like it. Paul Rest. Well, thank you, uh, sir. I'm glad that you... Uh, like the content. I appreciate you watching. You know, if if you keep watching, then I'll keep making them. Oh no. Mm mm. Let me get some of these chips. Have you guys been watching Juicy Tingles? I need to start doing more salads. Herbie is getting too big. Herbie is the belly. Jingle Ding is here. What's up, JD? How are you? P Bear is here. What's up, P Bear? What you doing? Did you roll up with a meal? Hey, thanks you guys for uh, popping through and um, maybe uh, hitting that thumbs up button. For those of you that did, I appreciate it and thank you. Andrew's from Kentucky, okay. That is awesome. Tara is from Seattle. All right. I should say Seattle, Washington. Uh, static from what, the bag? Or was it from me? There was a shooting in Ovalde, Texas. That's a, oh my God. Listen, don't get me started on that. I mean, hold on. I take it, Chris. That that town wasn't, you know, that that was that was a rare thing. Like that's a, that's a small town. Am I correct? Mm. J Pink. I'm seeing people I don't even know. Hey, J Pink. <laughs> From Tallahassee, Florida. Welcome. Are some of you all uh, somewhat new subscribers? Paul is from Buffalo, New York. All right. I'm loving it. What noise? 
What noise? Mm -mm, don't, um, don't freak me out. What noise are you talking about? Because um, Rochelle said something about um, static. Is it gone now? Um, we are we good? Oh yeah, you know what, Vic? Just for you, just for you. Look at them Doritos, baby. B Square, I see you. Shy Town in the Hills. Hi, Tiffany. What's up, Evan? Have you seen um, Have you seen her uh, recent clips? Her recent uh, lives. She did a haul yesterday. Mm. Y'all don't understand. I'm just trying to watch her almost every night. It's kind of, I'm going back full circle, like I used to be when I first, um, who, who told me about Juicy Tangle's channel? <sighs> That's one thing I can't remember. How did I first find out about her channel? And, um, those halls and the collections and oh they just relax me and then her and her husband they oh they he tripping me out simon is a trip yeah bubble whispers i like i like uh mr bubble whispers i don't get into a lot of the hand movement stuff but um, he's a cool guy. Oh, Chris, you're from Del Rio, Texas. Okay. What's up, Francis? How are you? Are you hardly uh, ever, you haven't been making too many lives either, so it's good. It's great to see you as well. St. Louis. I know. Oh, you guys, Vic. Uh, is the, the, he should be doing mukbangs. He should be doing them. And actually, if y'all want to know a little more about Vic, uh, I have a playlist where I, uh, at one point I was doing, um, it was called a uh, child with chews and I would have different people on and Vic was one of my guests. He was one of my early guests, I believe. And um, we both had a meal, at, you know, from where he was and from where I am here, and it was great. So if you guys, you know, some of you all are into some of my playlists, check out that uh, Child with Choose compilation playlist. People like, um, ooh. Uh, Mrs. Chanita was on. I think she was on twice. Lovely Lady. Um, uh, Luke B. Grubbin. Um, he was the first one, I believe. He was my first guest, Luke B. Grubbin. Um, uh, my guy, uh, Mr. Eyewear. Um, I can't think. Oh, my God. What's the couple's name? Seawitz World. They were uh, two. Uh, who else? Oh my God. All right, we'll just check it out. Yeah, that is messed up, Chris. Okay. All right.
right, thanks for you guys for the update on the static. We can't have that. Not so much new, not gonna lie. I forgot your username and I was watching ASMR Bro the other day and remembered you again. So came back to your vids and saw you changed it, yeah. Um, you know, it's just, it's weird because for people who, you know, kind of dip, uh, for content creators who kind of dipped out or they don't really watch other people's content, you don't even know who's watching your content unless they comment or unless they say it, you know, in their videos and stuff. But, um, like, I'd be wondering if some people, I mean, they'll see my picture, but do they realize that I changed my channel name? So. Oh, thank you. Um, you can see the shirt. You know, it says Petty. <laughs> I didn't know if uh, you could even see the shirt, but this is my Petty t-shirt. I've worn it before. Welcome all. Oh, let's grab a bite, but do us a favor and hit that like. Okay. <laughs> I love it, Vic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, you guys. Um, NBA finals. Just chill. I don't do the NBA. Uh, I'm, I'm, I am. I can't talk the sports. So. Mm -mm. Were you, Andrew? Wow. I wonder did I finish watching. She was she's she, she feels like because she hasn't uploaded in a, in a long time that she's kind of rusty. And um, I, I you know, but I love the realness. She's just so real. I mean, I would love to meet her in person. I wanted to do a child with choose with her, but we just couldn't make it work. But she's still my, she's still my chick. Uh. <laughs> Oh, you did, Rochelle? Look, Vic, the only thing missing is my pineapple cream, cream cheese. You know how I like to dip my Doritos in that. Chris, thank you for popping through. I appreciate you. Take care of yourself. Bubble Whispers is uploading content, yes. Yeah, he's been uploading content for the past oh, few weeks. Do you all, y'all know who Whisper, Whisper is active is, right? I've told him and ASMR Raw, R-A-H-L, I said it in a video. I had, you know, announced the fact that I, they had, you know, popped up and this was in that they didn't they didn't come out with videos at the same week or the same day or anything. But I said, don't get don't get used to it. Don't get too comfortable because they're going to disappear. And what do you know? <laughs> you know, I think R Raw might have done two. And then he bounced, you know, I get, you know, real life takeover, whatever. Hey, I appreciate it, Francis. You know what? I think people see this petty shirt. And then I don't think they, you know, some people get it, but I think some people probably look at me like you do seem like you might be a petty a petty person you know like they don't you know i always like to say that my shirts uh, uh represent a part of my personality 
and I think there is a part of me that can be petty, um, but this was clearly a, a joke, a, a, a spoof on the logo. But uh, I also think people think that I am really like a petty person. Well, I guess they'll never know until they find out the hard way. Can you be petty? Put, let me know right here, right now. And don't be trying to make yourself look good just because you're on a live and stuff. Let me know. It's okay if you can be petty. Ain't nobody perfect. And if you say you ain't, uh, you're not a petty person, I'm gonna call you a lie. I just don't want to be alone. <laughs> I just don't want to be the only petty person in the room. Thank you, P-Bear. These are chicken burgers. Organic, McCormick's organic poultry seasoning. I'm telling you, it's a game changer uh, to me. It's for people, like if you, you know how you, you can buy like thyme and rosemary and sage and all these herbs and things that are the actual like herbs that they're, they're, but you know, when you bite into your burger, you either like that stuff or you don't. This is powdered form. It's organic uh, poultry seasoning in a powdered form. So I'm just, I'm telling you though, liberally on your chicken and ground turkey. Life-changing. I'm starting to use a lot of uh, ground turmeric and black pepper um, and my garlic powder and Himalayan salt. I feel like a broken record. I always use the same thing. 3 a.m. comes early. Good night, chat. Have a good night, Choose. Thank you. Keep up the great work. Thanks for the interaction. Thank you for popping through, Andrew. Uh-oh, Drew is in the house. What's up, Drew? How are you? You done made it to a live? Finally, because I think you've been getting to them kind of late. You always comment, oh, I missed it. <laughs> so you finally got here. All right. I need to change to my tablet. Okay, doke. Sparkling water fan. Um, not really. But there is this, uh, what's that What's that soda called? I, I had it in a recent video. I think it's called Poppy. It has apple cider vinegar in it and not that many carbs and not that much sugar either. It's really good, but it is $3. It is $3. But yeah, uh, to answer your question, not really a big sparkling water person. Flavored water, yes, if I can taste the flavor. That hint, that hint is disgusting to me. It don't even give you a hint. It's like, that's how much flavor is in it. It's not hint. I are so much honey chicken. <laughs> oh, you ate so much honey chicken? You probably ate it too fast. You were looking forward to that meal too. Sorry you got sick. Hello, Amanda. See, Amanda's gonna admit the truth. None of us really want to be petty. Tara. None of us want it, but sometimes, you know, I see it in myself at times. I'll blatantly admit it when it's happening. Cause that's really, that's, you know, it saves the other person. Cause you know, the other person is gonna, I like, I'm thinking about a coworker. She will be quick to say I'm petty about any and every damn thing. So I just, you know what? 
Yeah, my ass is petty, now what? Vic, you got your petty moments too? I can't see you being petty. But I'm glad you admitted it. Mm-hmm. Y'all are just trying to make me feel good or nothing like that, right? Because I don't give a fuck. Pettiness can emerge if someone does something to bring it out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if I've ever been petty just for the sake of it. No, it's usually someone, you're right, it's usually somebody bringing it out. But sometimes they don't bring it out in the moment. So I'll think about something that they did or something maybe that they always do. And I'll keep that like in the back of my mind and in the memory bank. And then I'll do something, I'll commit a petty action. Um, And they didn't have to do anything to, you know, receive it. It'll just happen. That's a real petty person right there. Yeah, that's a petty business. But it don't happen often. It don't happen often. Yeah, I bought the ground chicken um, Walmart. I bought ground turkey, ground chicken, and ground uh, sirloin, I think, yeah. I think uh, one day this week I'm gonna do the sirloin. Um, I have two more burgers left and I'm not gonna eat them. Um, They were so good though. I know it's a weird Sunday dinner, but you know, hey. Ada, you've been petty? No. Not Ada. Not Ada. Don't get Waterloo. It has no taste at all. Okay. Waterloo and Hint. Hint is horrible. Mike Sanders, how are you? What's going on? So when did you decide that you were ending the diet? Uh, When did I even start a diet? Zach, I just mentioned you. I just mentioned you. Um, I was talking about uh, my playlist, Child With Choose, and how you and a few other people at, at, uh, were on it. That's Mr. Eyewear, you guys. And we still gotta do pizza. Um, you can ask anything as long as it's, you know, respectful. Uh, I can't guarantee you that I will answer. You know, let's talk about Billy Idol for a minute. Never like a big fan, but um, I loved him in tight pants. And um, my favorite Billy Idol song, and it's not Eyes Without a Face, even though that was, that was decent, but my favorite one is Flesh for Fantasy. Oh, Flesh for Fantasy always reminds me of old school, like Friday night videos in the early 80s. And that would have been 84, Flesh for Fantasy. That video, when it comes on, that cinematography, that art, that background, oh, that's a hot tune. And what else did he do? I mean, he, I'm sure he did a few other songs that I like, but I wouldn't say I was like a big, big fan. Food challenges around my area, not that I know of. I'm not a big food challenge person or seeker. Oh. Billy Idol, yeah, with that sneer, I can't do it. (laughs) 
Hello, Cheryl Snow. How are you? You know, do you be on Juicy Tingle's uh, stream, Cheryl? Because I'll hear her go, hey, Cheryl. But I never, I'm always asleep. Well, not asleep, but I'm always in bed. And I'm always thinking, because I'm not watching it, I'm just kind of listening to it. And I'm always thinking that it's you. Do you be on her uh, live streams a lot? Oh, you, t <laughs> that's Billy Joel, uh, Vic. Now, I did like Uptown Girl for some reason. that And that reminds me of Friday Night Videos too. Oh my God. Um, uh, but my favorite track from him, well, I have a few Billy Joel, like favorite tracks of Billy Joel. Maybe he could be my music moment. I need to get back to doing those again, right? Um, but I love that uh, for the longest time. Whoa, for the longest time. That's a jam. Okay, Zach, guess what? Zach, how do you sp pronounce your last name? Is it Vinitz or Winitz? Um, I was on the dreaded DoorDash. <sighs> And I actually came very, 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 very close to ordering from Small Cheval. You know, the thing that I hate is that they just, they don't have a whole hell of a lot, at least not on DoorDash. But are their burgers really good? And what about BurgerFi, y'all? If, if any of you have had BurgerFi, how are they? The burgers always look really, really good. But let me know, because I, you know, I don't really, I would, I would spend money on it if I heard people say it was good. Sometimes you can look at the visual and be incredibly disappointed. You know, like for years, I looked at Steak and Shake's visual, the pictures, the, you know, I was never near a Steak and Shake. And that one time I did a video when they actually uh, was delivering for, uh, DoorDash, I was like, oh, I felt like I'd hit the Holy Grail. That food sucked. It sucked so bad. Oh, I don't have a car. But what I listen to in my ear, um, I tell you, I have a playlist called ND. ND uh, is short for indie music. Um, and there is a group uh, they have a song I've been playing every time I access that playlist. The group is called Ginger Lees, and the song is called um, Set You Off. It's, 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 J it's dream pop, dream indie, jangly, all, you know, indie alternative, whatever you want to call it. They have a few songs that I love, but that song is the one I just found and I play it all the time. So yeah. Every time you talk about 80s music, I'm always lost. I was born late 80s, but I have a serious appreciation for 80s music. I like Keith Sweat myself. You would like Keith Sweat. Something, 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 something just ain't right. <laughs> Big and ass. Oh, it's not you, Cheryl. It's another Cheryl. Okay, never mind, never mind. Let's proceed. Keith Sweat, uh, I think he... I don't think he's here in Chicago, but he uh, is DJing on a station here, um, V103. I think he has a, 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 a show... He might do it uh, from somewhere else, but our station here runs it. And I didn't even realize that, because I don't listen to the radio at all. But V103 remains our top, like, number one station in the city. Win it. Win it. Small Cheval is the best. 
Burger Fi and Shake Shack are about the same, but Small Chavon is the best. Smash Burger is trash. <laughs> um, okay. What makes Small Cheval the best? I would like to know. Please explain it, Zach. Freak me. Freak me, baby. Freak me, baby. Ain't that the one? I hate all those songs. I hate that. That's 90s. I hate that period. Cause tonight, baby, I want to get freaky with you. It's not you. It's you. Y-E-W. All the singers then. It's you. <laughs> Y'all know the inflection I'm trying to create, but I can't create it. All right, Francis, take care. Good to see you again. Well, I know Ada, I'm sure Ada knows all these songs right here. Like you know, the Keith Sweat and the, the Freak Me by Silk. And uh, and next thing, next thing you know, someone's going to put in, um, If I ever fall in love again, I will be sure that. Whatever. Billy Ocean. There'll be sad songs to make you cry. Love songs often do. They can touch the heart of someone new. Saying I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the only Billy Ocean song that I really, really love. Let's see. There might be two of them. Get Out of My Dreams, Get Into My Car. Love that one. Hate Caribbean Queen. Um, I don't think I like Loverboy, but I can tolerate it now. It, 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 what was the other? Damn, it's um, Mystery Lady. To be loved by me. Billy Ocean had some hits. He did. I will say that I did not like all of them, but he sure did. He sure could make a hit. I'll tell you that. Never had Shake Shack, but I just got a location open near me. I heard it's good and you seem to like what you had. Would you recommend it? Um, I would recommend to try it. I have a feeling that you won't go back, but I recommend trying it. Yeah. And who knows, you might find something you actually do like. So, you know. Ooh, sweet potato fries, okay. You know, I never have sweet potato fries on the channel. Should probably have them. It's the flavor and that thinness of the patty and quality of the beef and simplicity of the menu and ingredients. Wow, okay. All right, Vic, don't laugh at me. I'm not singing no damn Stevie B, Drew, that's out. Mm -mm. I do not like Stevie B. And I only think of one song, Because I Love You. Can't do it. Can't do it. Pretty brown, pretty brown eyes. Pretty brown eyes. I like Mint Condition, but that is not the song I like. Mint Condition, you send me swing. You send me swing. <laughs> You Send Me Swingin' was my jam, 1993 or 94. I remember it. I had it on the Sony Walkman. I had taped it. No, no, no. I bought the cassette single. They had another song I loved called um, Forever In Your Eyes. Oh, that was a jam. That was a cut. And I am not a big slow cut person, but Mint Condition knew how to do it. Beep, beep, yeah. <laughs> T-Love, what's going on? <laughs> Y'all caught me up here trying to sing. They think they're gonna just throw out all types of musicians. Oh, I can't do no Frank Ocean. I don't, I don't even know a Frank Ocean song, and I should because he's part of the LGBTQ community. But um, yeah, I don't know no Frank Ocean. Not like, that's not in my wheelhouse. I used to call him Billy O Shit. What was the other songs by him? Um, in the love, 
So, hey, you know what my favorite Billy Ocean song is? Better, even even better than um, uh, Get Out of My Dreams Into My Car. But this is one that some of y'all probably do not know because it came out in 81. One of them nights, feel like getting down. Vic, you might know it. If you don't, find it. That cut, ooh, he tore that song up. That is a dance floor jam, baby. One of the nights, one of the nights you feel like getting down. Why am I trying to see? We're not doing a Stevie B. Because I love you. My name is Stevie B. And he sounded like that too, don't he? <laughs> well, I look like I'm constipated. Kidnappy? Oh, now it sounds poppy, but not kidnappy. Really? Hey, Keisha, what's going on? Thank you for the claps. <laughs> I think. <laughs> oh, this is my friend, y'all. Everybody say hi to my friend, Tracy. Tracy Pennington is in the house. What's up, Tracy? Coming in on my live. How you doing? I miss you. When I come to Chicago, we do a mucking. I'm <laughs> to do a mucking, my treat. I will let you know the date. Uh, when are you coming through? Do you know when? Tracy is one of my, Tracy, if Tracy still, he still is, he is a part of the squad. But if Tracy were here, he would be the fifth. Uh, he would be the fifth squad member because he goes back as far back as those guys do we all met at around the same time this is my good friend tracy y'all seeing up in here y'all after seven they had a um can't stop the re the remix of can't stop is a good one um Ready or not, that's them, right? Uh, mm -hmm, uh, um, they had another song. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Okay. I don't know the name of the song, damn, but I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, not not too big on After Seven. I don't know nothing about a riding of a donkey. I'm sorry. Let me ride the, no. I don't know nothing about that. Cheryl, you know what? I've never done a karaoke in my life. You surprised? <laughs> I, you know what? I, w I have, uh, I think I have some hidden desires to do it. Um, I have had some fantasies about doing certain songs that I think would be a lot of fun. But my ass, the way I am, I'd want to do them perfect. And I know that's not the idea behind karaoke, but I'd want to have people, I'd want to rehearse. I'd want to have, <laughs> I, want to, I want to do them like perfect. Like I would love to do a B-52's uh, song, karaoke. Yes, it's only Walkman. Mm-hmm. Girl, I had, I had one that you know had the radio too, and you could record from it. Those were hard to find. That was my best friend, and some of the earliest ASMR triggers that I had came courtesy from whatever I would record off of that Sony Walkman. Mm-mm-mm. It was like a stainless steel, like silver thing, kind of uh, a little weighty. Oh, and it had a microphone too. Man. Yeah, I have a feeling I would become really addicted to karaoke. 
Petty LuPone. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Patty Lep- so for anyone who does not know, <laughs> there is a Broadway uh, actress, singer, whatever. Her name is Patty Lapone. Just for the, just for anybody, if you want to know the reason why I broke out in laughter like that, this is why he's doing that. Patty Lapone. That is a really good drag name. I have a feeling it probably exists already. I can't imagine it doesn't exist. That's great, Evan. Okay, check them fries, Rochelle. Is it cutting in and out? I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe I need to actually... uh, dip out I don't know how is it now y'all thanks T. I'm sorry uh, T. Lo sorry sorry you guys buy your own karaoke machine let me tell you actually uh, you guys something I completely spaced on this let me know if the sound is still going in and out I caught myself trying to fix it, but I'm not sure that I have. Hey, 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 sorry I'm late, but I'm here. Hello, everyone. Hey, what's up, Gene? Y'all say hi to Gene. Gene Williams, how are you? So, I auditioned for Simba's singing voice in The Lion King. Just missed the cut, though. Really? Are you, are you serious, Vic? Are you not pulling my leg? Because if you are, this is something about you I did not know. That's probably a lot about you I don't know. Okay. Just got in here. What's to eat? Uh, It's done. I had a salad and chicken burgers. I'm just munching on some Doritos. Juliana says it's fine. To her, um, what about the rest of you guys? Is it still cutting in and out? Before I go on, I just want to know. I was going to say, Vic. (laughs) Okay, Amanda says it's good. Okay, Rochelle says it's fine. Okay, I'm going to just say it's fine. Thank you guys for popping in and hitting the thumbs up button and all that stuff. I appreciate that. Okay, okay. It's still cutting in and out. Oh, sorry, Ada. I'm not sure why it's happening. Um, What's up, Red? Hello. Everybody say hello to Eat With Red ASMR. How you doing, girl? Miss Eat with Rhea. Confidently char. Hello. Okay, so about karaoke. My cousin, who was also on my Child with Chews uh, show. Well, no, Ada, a, a couple other people said it was cutting out. And then... I think it's it was going in and out again. I don't know. It's still kind of going in and out. I'm not sure why that is. Time for a new mic. But really quick, um, my cousin, Anthony, he used to do these karaoke's. We used to call them karaoke's. And, you know, me and my other cousin, and some of his friends, we all get together and we, you know, pick out songs to do and performances and all that. I'm saying that to say somewhere in his possession, there is footage of me doing Luther Vandross's um, version of My Favorite Things, the Christmas tune. 
I think there's a version of, I think there's me doing Karma Chameleon by Culture Club. Uh, and I actually would, would um, I used to tell him if those ever got out that um, he would have hell to pay. But now that I have had a, a YouTube channel for ages um, and have been kind of out in the stratosphere or whatever, I feel like I'm okay with people seeing those performances, I think. <laughs> so, you know, one day, I, don't, I, I, can't, I can't even, I can't even say like, because everybody's busy, you know, he's got, he's a bus driver, he's got a family. No one has time to be digging up footage, you know what I'm saying? But you don't know, maybe one of these days uh, I might share a video. <laughs> you all would uh, see another side of shoes. Okay. I don't know why it's cutting out. People. Do I need to blow on the mic? You know, it wasn't probably the mic. It was probably my voice. When I started singing, it probably fucked up the mic. That's all it was. But you know what, you guys? It's been an hour. It's been over an hour. And I got a lot of people in here. But I don't know. I might have to... I might have to call it, I might have to say it's the end. It's clear for me, not cutting out for me. We all love music. What videos do you like? You know, what do you mean? Like what? I don't like anybody's videos now. Like, are they, do they still do music videos? Um, everything I like is old, old school. Um, or do you mean like on YouTube? I don't know. All right, Amanda, if you go into bed, thank you for popping in and we'll see you next time. Cheryl. <laughs> What else did, oh, then there's my cousin and I, uh, we were doing a Crystal Waters song. It's, oh, it, it, the song borrowed from The Price is Right. It's called Come On Down. It's a really hot tune. It's hard to find on Spotify, but you can probably find it on YouTube. We did a dance routine for that one. Oh my God. What else? I can't think of what else I might have done good times I don't do that anymore but I don't I don't think I would mind sharing a couple of those videos with you all what care what care your favorite old videos uh, I, I don't I don't know that I have a favorite old video or uh, are you I, anything from the 80s or do you mean my own content or you mean music videos help me with my insomnia thank you Tiffany appreciate that I sure do I've tried to use Spotify I don't care for it oh alright sorry about that love me some dance routines yeah, we had some tight, um, well, at least mine was tight. I know mine was tight. There were these shirts that we bought from, um, it used to be called Casual Mail before they turned into DXL. Um, um, it's big and tall. It used to be called Casual Mail, big and tall. And where they used to be in uh, the Loop area in Chicago, um, they had, they were more hip hop uh, clothing. All their clothes were really expensive. They had stuff like, you know, your cross colors, Carl Kanai, all that. 
And I think those shirts were probably a cross color shirt or a crock and I, and they just, I remember them fitting really tight. Like, what are you doing with this shirt, fool? And I never wore it out. I was always too chunky for the shirt. Uh, at, a, at a certain point, I must have been like, you know, been going out and had lost maybe a little bit of weight to where I could kind of get in the shirt. I still shouldn't have been in the shirt, but I made it work for the performance. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure how my cousin look. I'm not going to put him out there on Front Street, but um, man. It was like a polyester type of feel to it. It was it was just it was just kind of sticky and <laughs> hot. <laughs> you know how with the shirts, when the shirts, when you're too big for the damn shirt and you shouldn't be wearing it. There's a there's a fine line, there's a an, a gray area where when you lose weight, if you're losing a bunch of weight, there's a, a a period where you feel daring, like you want to try on anything, and you think that shit will work for you, um, and all it really takes is that one bitch, that one person, to be like. Oh, no, boo, do that over, do that over. You know, but they not going to tell you that because these your friends. They, oh, that's a nice shirt. And, you know, yeah. But we know what they're thinking, really. Oscar Mosqueda, thank you. Appreciate that. I really should have a casual. He's tall and a big guy. Yep. Well, that's what it's for. I meant old music videos. I don't really have favorite old music videos. I'm, I'm, I have favorite songs. <sighs> but if I had to think just kind of off the top, um, there are some classic videos that I haven't seen in a while, like um, Huey Lewis' This Is It. Um, I told y'all about the Flesh for Fantasy video earlier, Billy Idol. Um, Black music videos from the 80s can be hysterical. Um, and I'm not, you know, I know this is Juneteenth. We're, you know, we in the month and everything. And by the way, happy Pride Month and happy Juneteenth. Let's just celebrate that all one hour and eight minutes into the video. Um, I tell you, black music videos look no further just 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 go on youtube and type in rick james and look at any music video he's got then type in uh dennis edwards and saida garrett a, a song called don't look any further you've heard the song before you've probably heard it sampled in a bunch of other songs um it's just them two in the video and he is chewing gum like a big dog that shit is so funny to me um, yeah, but look up black folks in the, well, don't, don't look up black folks, but yeah, um, yeah, black music videos and you know, with Rick James, you probably gonna, I would send you to super freak. Enough said. Uh, Rayon is correct. I think it is Rayon, confidently, Char. Yeah, and it just made everything stick, just nipples and, and, and everything. It's just it's, it's horrible. But I thought I was looking hot and because, you know, we had to do them performances and, you know, we acted like we was at a real, like, karaoke stage talent show. <laughs> I can't believe sometimes we, we did the stuff we did, but it was fun at the time. for band gigs. Do you have any favorite local artists? No, no favorite local artists. Not that I know of. David Ramirez, what's going on? Wait a minute. No, no. I thought you were my friend uh, Michelle's um, partner, but I don't, I don't think you are. 
Uh, sorry about that. No, I haven't been to Philly. But I'm dying to have Philly cheesesteak egg rolls. Does that does that help? There is a um uh there was a place I was gonna order from and they have Philly cheesesteak egg rolls, but I changed my mind from ordering there. But I do want to try those. I have a Philly cheesesteak before though. It's pretty good. Well, if you've seen that video, then you probably know what I'm talking about. Xavier Bruce, what's up? How are you? Have you seen the Rick James Super Freak video from 1981? Brick House used to be my ring the tone back. Oh, she's a brick. That's a nice ring tone. I would let it, 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 that would be my ring tone, that part right there. Shook it down, shook it down, shook it down now. That would be my ring tone. You have to come and visit. Oh, okay. Um, I have heard good things about Philly, city of brotherly love. Uh, I don't think they have a heavy uh, crime uh, rate either, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, City of Brotherly Love, you wouldn't think that, but you know, <laughs> I don't. Um, I don't really get to travel much, but um, at least I don't hear like about Philly in the news, so that might be a good idea. Not like Chicago. Wide open. I ain't never heard that song. Wide open. Is that a is that an old track? It's getting bad, Danielle Outlaw. What is she like the mayor or something? Is she the mayor or the governor? I could be wrong on both parts. <clears throat> oh, I knew I was wrong. Okay. Well, it seemed like there's it used to be like there was just like a lot of shootings. Then it seemed like there's just stabbings and shootings. Now it's just any old thing. Oh, there was a there was a, a guy that he said this homeless man. I think they called him the Walking Man. This man was homeless. He was um, I guess laying sleeping outside, and this fool. Threw, threw vas of Vaseline, gasoline on him, and set him, set the man on fire. Oh, I'm so glad they got him. Mm. People have lost their damn minds. I don't want to take it to this to this place so late in the live, but people have lost their minds everywhere. Primanti Brothers, is that a restaurant? What is that? Streets of Fire. I've never seen that movie at all. I've heard of it, though, but I've never seen it. Is that the one that... No, that doesn't have St. Elmo's Fire in it, I don't think. You know what, you guys? Thank you, Cheryl and Rochelle, for joining. I think I'm going to go, too. Um, but I appreciate everybody who showed up and hit the thumbs up button and all of that. TV show suggestions. I do not. Um, but here's what I will suggest, Xavier, because I know that you um, are a musician, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there is a channel called less age singing 
L E S A G E singing. Um, he, this guy is a vocal coach, and he it seems like he. I'm not going to say he primarily listens to black music and gives his uh, reactions as a vocal coach to this music. Uh, he did some, those, oh my God, they're the best videos. I might have to watch those again tonight. He did Rochelle Farrell, a couple of live performances from her, uh, Mariah Carey, um, a woman named Leandria Johnson or Jones. Uh, she was singing um, with a choir, uh, the Be Grateful, the old gospel song by the Hawkins singers, or the Hawkins family. Um, he did his vocal, re his reactions to that one. I am in love with this channel. <laughs> this is white boy and he is just, my God, he's funny and informative at the same time. So I would say, check him out on YouTube. Less Age Singing, I think that's the name of the channel. Good night, Amanda, and good night, Rochelle, and good night, Cheryl. Getting very bad here now. Everyone has moved from Chicago here, and it is horrible. I hate to say that, but it's the truth. Well, yeah, it is the truth. You just got to say the truth. They don't lost. They don't lost something because ain't nobody thinking. Well. And LL Cool Zam would come through an hour and 17 minutes, and I'm getting ready to go. <laughs> I was thinking about you earlier, uh, wondering how you were, because Vic and Ada were the first two people in the live. And I was like, man, I, I, I you know, I'm really bad at letting y'all know because I don't be planning on doing it. But how are you, sir? Red, thank you so much for coming through. I appreciate you. Have a really good night. Check it out, Xavier. I, I think you might find it entertaining. I know I sure did. Especially the Rochelle Pharrell, who is just one of the most underrated singers in the, in the entire world. Her voice should be like a one of the wonders of the world, but yeah, I miss you too, LL. We got a text or something, cause I'm getting ready to head out of here. It's been like an hour and eighteen minutes. I'll text you if you're still gonna be up a little bit. I'll text you, but I'm gonna head out now. All right, you guys, thank you for popping through. The burgers, the chicken burgers were great. The salad was great. The salad was just okay. It had an avocado ranch dressing, and I'm not a big fan of that, even though I have a whole bottle in the refrigerator. But um, this is why I was thinking about you too, uh, LL. I had this. But uh, I didn't eat that many of them. But I'll text you and uh, I'll see you guys. Thank you for popping through. Have a good night. Bye.